up YouTube making another tree video I think we got a pine tree we're gonna fall it out into that road there it is kind of bushy you can see it's got a, a lot of side lean this way and it has lean back towards me too and we want to go kind of that way with it really kind of toward the mailbox would be good yeah probably scare that mailbox silly but I think it'll be good but we didn't bring enough wedges all we have is these two and I like to use those hardhead wedges and only two wedges and with the likelihood of us needing to stack them we could just pull it over with the Vermeer huh that'd be real easy nevertheless I think I can walk up to it and put a face cut in it and wedge it over with what I got whenever I think I can do that I always kind of want to do that I don't know about this axe though if it's if it's got enough gumption what do you think Jeff do uh do these pants make my axe look small <laughs> Bucking special. See, we didn't we didn't scare that mailbox much at all. Or I wouldn't have put my iPhone right there. Ta-da. Thanks, Bucking, for the axe.
Okay, for the stump nerds, here's the stump. I didn't have a lot of wedges, and so I undermined it quite a ways, went halfway through with the face cut, which moved the tipping point back. It could bother somebody because it was back weighted and side weighted, but I was able to overcome it just enough. If you know, you know. <laughs> Stump nerds, let's talk about the stump a little bit. Yeah, we get people sometimes watch the channel and they they think that a tree like this is a thousand years old or something. Let's just check it. It's been growing in this guy's very lovely green lawn, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And you got some rings in the bark. Putting it at about 40 years old. I am at least 10 years older than this tree. I outlived it. Hey YouTube, uh, another thing I want to address really quick because people watch the videos and they think um, waste of wood. But, um, and I, I like those people. I like those people. I wish I had a bunch of them that would just come pick up wood, you know? Pine, cottonwood, uh, stuff that we routinely chip. Um, even oak. I mean, I've got, I've got it stacked a mile high. I, I'd give it away to to uh, a hardy individual capable of getting it off the job site in a safe and efficient means the day the job was done. Uh, but so I, I have a good use for chips. I'm using chips to, to flatten out a large area where there's gonna be a garden. And I'm taking hundreds of loads and so I like the chips. And with this uh, screw from eTerra, I don't know if they make this, like for sale this is a prototype that I got from them I bought it but um, I can I can split these big pine logs and then the whole tree goes through the chipper and and for the guys who uh, don't like to see that happen to the wood I feel it I mean I understand you and I would love to load you up with tons of wood so I can't though because you're out there on the internet and I'm here and in my little world so uh i just wanted to say that it's it's not me against you with with uh wasting wood it's a different use for wood and um and it's not uh it's not personal me against you <laughs> So the so it was one load for the brush we went and dumped it was a whole nother load for the stem uh, which is interesting now that I think about it because when you're doing crane work I think people underestimate the weight of the brush they see the big log and they're like that's where the weight is on a, on a tree like this it's actually dead even the stem had exactly the same amount of material as 
our fully loaded brush you know we chipped basically all the brush with the first load and all the stem with the second load so even exactly even how much material is in each how much weight then right that's interesting All right, it's nice having you along with us. I'll catch you next time.